Hello and welcome to my LWJGO 3.0 tutorial. In order to be able to continue on with these series, you must know the basics of Java. And basically you won't be able let me rephrase that. You won't get confused as we continue on with the tutorial. So you should really know the basics of Java. In, in this video, we'll be covering creating the project with LWJGL and creating a simple window. So in order to download these files, I'm going to go to lwjgl.org. The link will be in the description. Click on download and download the release. Once you have downloaded the release, it should be here in the zip file. Go ahead and extract it, and we'll use the files later. Now I'm going to open up Eclipse and create the new workspace. Let, ja let Eclipse do its thing. Put that right there. Close the, go ahead and close the welcome screen. Now, I'm going to create a new Java project. Do lwjgl-t. Uh, yeah, change it. All right, now we have our project. So now that we have the project, we can go into our workspace into the project folder and create a couple of folders. I'm going to create the library folder and I'm going to create the natives. Yeah. And next, I'm going to go to the LWJGL folder where I can copy the jar file into our library file and oh, that's docs copy the natives according to your operating system copy all of them lwjgl lwjgl32 open al glfw all of it copy it all over into our natives folder once we're done with that we can come into eclipse Go to the Package Explorer, click on, or press F5 to refresh the Package Explorer. And there we got our library and natives. Now we're going to set the properties. So you can right click and click on properties, or you can click on the project and press Alt Enter. This will pull up this uh, properties dialog where I will where we will click on Java build path and click on libraries. Now go to add jars and then it will be under the project and under the lib and we can click on lwjgl.jar and OK. Now open the drop down to lwjgl and click on the native library location. Without the natives, LWJGL won't work and it will give us an incorrect natives or it will give us uh, some sort of exception. I can't name it off the top of my head. So we'll click edit and ours is in the workspace. If yours isn't inside of the workspace, you're going to have to click external folder and I'll click on workspace and it'll be where the natives are located. Go ahead, click OK, apply, and we're set. Now I'm going to create a new Java class. I'm going to have the constructor and the main method within. And I'm going to call this main with a capital N. <laughs> and of course, new main. 
So here is where we will create our window. But before we can do such a thing, we'll have to import static org.lwjgl.glfw, which is the window library that lwjgl uses, .glfw dot asterisk or star. This imports everything within this class. So now all we have to do is initialize glfw using glfw init. We're going to create a long variable and we'll call this win. And we're going to set that to glfw create window. And the width will just be 640480 title. We'll go with window. And the last two variables are going to be set to zero. I'll explain more of why we're setting these to zero in the next video. So let's go ahead and do glfw show window and we'll pass in win which is the name of our variable. Now that we have gotten this simple code already we can go ahead and click run and our window pops up for a second and closes immediately now a simple easy fix for this is just to do a while loop and while glfw should or no glfw window should close the win not equal to one we'll go ahead and call the glfw pull events so this should allow our window to stay open and that is it for this video next video i'll explain what the code for the window is doing as well as rendering our first quad to the window. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.